Now let's try to answer a classic problem. It's the birthday problem. And what the birthday problem asks is, what is the probability that the, somebody has the same birthday in the same room? Now usually the problem's said for 30 people, but just to make our computation a little bit easier, I'm going to say for five people. What's the probability if you have five random people in a room, what's the probability that two people have the same birthday? And there's actually two key steps for doing this. Step one is to find the probability that nobody has the same birthday, which is actually the complement of the probability that somebody's someone has the same birthday, okay? So that's the first thing. We're going to try to find the probability that nobody has the same birthday. It's actually easier to find that than the probability that someone having the same birthday. And then, if we can find the probability that nobody has the same birthday, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the probability that nobody has the same birthday from one, which actually tells us the probability of somebody having, or at least two people, having the same birthday, okay? So let's get going on this problem. First off, I like to use that bucket method I've been using on this. And we have five people, so let's have five different buckets, okay? A bucket for each person. Okay. And what you have to ask yourself is, we got one, two, three, four, oh, one more. Is let's let's start with person one right here. Now, there are 365 days in a year. So how many days do they have to choose from? Well, they have 365 days to choose from of 365. So we're going to put that there as the probability of them having that day, 365 out of 365 days to choose from. Okay? So now we're going to multiply that by this person. The next person now can't choose one of those days, right? So they can only choose 364 days of the 365 days, right? And now two days have been chosen, so the next person can only choose 360 three days out of the 365 days, and so forth and so on. 362 over 365 days, and here we got 361 over 365 days, okay? So we're right now, we're trying, the, trying to find the probability that nobody has the same birthday, and this would be the probability that nobody has the same birthday using independent events. So now we need to multiply this all together. Let's see what we get when we multiply this whole thing together. Get our graphing calculator, and we put um, 365, we'll multiply that by 364 times 363 times 362 times 361. Did I do that? So I'm just multiplying all the numerators together, 365, 4, 3, to one, and we're going to figure out what that is. It's a really big number right there, and we're going to divide that by 365 times 365 times 365 times 365 times 365, which is really just 365 to the fifth power. So the probability that the, no one has the same birthday, B day, oh, B day is equal to 0.972. Okay, that's probably that no one has the same birthday. Now, step two is to take that and subtract it from one. So we just do one minus this 0.972, which will give us the probability that there is at least two people with the same birthday. B day. So let's figure out what that is. Go back to that graphing calculator here, and we'll just do one minus and then our last answer. We can do second and then the answer, which is right above the negative sign. Push enter there, and it looks like that turns out to be equal to 0 0.027. And if you wanted to change that, we can move this decimal over, change it to a percent, so we get 2.7% chance that if you have a group of five people, that two have the same exact birthday.